We are going to talk with Ronnie today. He has collaborated with the Intelligent Music Project and we represent Bulgaria. This is Eurovision Song Contest. Ronnie, thank you so much for joining me today. How are you doing? Fine, thank you. Great to see you. As I said before, you will be joining the Intelligent Music Project for the Eurovision Song Contest this year in Turin. Can you explain to us how this collaboration did happen? How did you guys meet with each other? Uh, well, this was like um, already almost four years ago. Um, I just got uh, an email from Dr. Milan Bravisky, who is the uh, owner of the project, um, to to sing a couple of songs on on his album at that time. And um, uh, you know, he was he was working before with the different singers and um, rock stars, let's say, um, on on the different albums they uh, they released before. And at that time, I was working with Richie Blackmore uh, in Rainbow, and 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 then he asked me to sing a couple of songs on the um, on the I, if I remember correct, it was the uh, Life Motion album. Um, and uh, from that point, uh, we uh, developed a kind of a very kind and nice uh, chemistry working together. At uh, the point that. I was uh, I was invited to play only uh, to sing in only two songs, and then I ended up singing all the album. <laughs> um, and then from from there, uh, we uh, we uh, developed this uh, relationship, working together, um, and and through the last three years, we did a lot of shows in Bulgaria and some different countries in in Europe. Uh, we released another album together. And, and now working in the in the in the new one, which is going to be released uh, this summer. Um, uh, the chemistry was that good that uh, even in the last album, I am doing a couple of lyrics in a couple of songs, which is something that never happens before because Dr. Bravisky was taking care of the music and the lyrics and everything, and 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 that's it. And then someday I remember it was like uh, November or December last year. He uh, he talked me about the uh, yeah, maybe we had the we had a chance to go to Eurovision and I I thought it was a good idea so here we are. Well, you actually have plenty of experiences being a lead singer as you were the lead singer of many big groups like Rainbow, Sunstorm, Lords of Black, and the Michael Schenker group. So, in which ways do you think these experiences will help you at the Eurovision Song Contest? Uh, well, uh, I think uh, the the most of the the most important thing on a performance, um, mostly when it's a live performance, is the confidence and the experience you have. Uh, it's not the same thing to go uh, for the first time playing in front of an audience on or on a television uh, show. Uh, sometimes it's a it's a little bit hard for for young musicians. And I know because I, I, I went through that at the beginning of my career. So uh, what can I do better? It's, you know, to go there full of confidence and to show what we can, what we can do uh, and not taking care about the, you know, if I am nervous or, you know, that kind of things or, or, or if I will be shocked because of the production or because of the, uh, uh, because of the cameras, because sometimes happens as well. Um, um, I think I think we are experienced uh, enough, uh, and not only me. I mean, I was I mean, I was I was doing I was doing uh, several shows through the last uh, ten years. Some shows with 40, 50,000 people um, uh, through all the world. I played from the states until to Japan, and then all Europe and South America. Uh, I did many things, uh, but the band as well. We were playing live together for the last three years uh, through Bulgaria and then some other European countries. So um, I think uh, we are kind of a prepare to face uh, this uh, this challenge of to be in, in, in Eurovision. So let's talk about your Eurovision song then. Intention is the song with which we represent Bulgaria at this year's contest. And when I watched the music video, I was quite interested in the message of the song. So could you explain it to us? Yeah, um, uh, Intelligent Music uh, um, is, um, is a very interesting project. That, that was one of the main reasons that I, why I joined uh, Intelligent Music, because, you know, well, when you play mostly rock music and heavy metal music, uh, 
you have a certain kind of a message like the you know the when in rock music you talk about party and having fun and everything is cool you know that kind of things um, but we are living very uh, hard times nowadays for a lot of people because of the pandemic now because of the war uh, different wars around Europe and all the countries and and I think the people they start to need some kind of a different message and and that's what, what we have in intelligent music uh, it's very good lyrics with a deep message in this case intention I think is perfect for the times we're living because um, we are talking about uh, to be brave and to have hope um, uh, when you want to change something and you want to change yourself, how you see yourself. And, and sometimes you are in just in the couch thinking, oh, I would love to have a better life. I would love to be better. I would love to do better. Uh, but we are saying that you need to have the intention to do it. That's the, that's the, uh, the title of the song. You need to have the intention to change yourself to a better person and, 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 and at the end to have a better world because everything is about to everybody to put a little grain of sand, you know, to change the world. Uh, sometimes the people is like, ah, uh, oh, no, I'm not going to do this because if I, if I, if I stop to eat meat, for example, if I, if I stop to eat animals, somebody else is going to keep eating animals. So I'm not going to change anything. Right. Um, I'm not going to change uh, the, how the pollution works because if I, if I don't do it, a lot of people will do it anyway. Um, but we are saying that everybody can bring a little help and all together we, we, we can change actually something. But we need to have the intention to do it. We need to be willing to do it. And that's the meaning of the song. In your music video, we already saw a glimpse of how you perform the song, but of course we are actually wondering how the song will be staged at the big stage in the Eurovision Song Contest. So could you give us some hints? What can we expect from a stage performance in Turin? Uh -huh, that's, a, that's a big secret. <laughs> that's a big secret. But uh, what, what I can say, we are already you know, rehearsing the choreography and, and everything. Um, what I can say is uh, this is going to be exactly what the people can expect for from a rock band and from intelligent music. There is a lot of people who saw the shows already. They were in the shows uh, watching watching the band playing, and everybody has the same opinion. This is a kind of a full energy thing, good vibes. Um, the people had a lot of fun. Uh, so we will, we're going to bring this kind of a rock show to the Eurovision, to the Eurovision uh, uh, stage. Uh, it's going to be, I think it's going to be great uh, because we're going to share the vibe, the positive vibe of the band on, on, on the cameras and to the, to the audience on, on Turin. So I think it's going to be great. I'm also curious to find out how you decided to take part at the Eurovision Song Contest. So could you explain us the backstory and the process behind your intention to participate? Well, um, <clears throat> uh, as, as, as far as I know, because I was not directly involved in this uh, process, but uh, in Bulgaria, they don't have a kind of a, a pre-contest. Mm -hmm. So it's, uh, it's actually the, uh, the national television who decides who can be the best representative for, for the country. And uh, so there were a lot of different proposals from different bands and they did a like, kind of a pre-selection and then every uh, every uh, band they send uh, this the song that will that will be uh, in Eurovision, and then we were someday we just, we just got an email from the national television that they were very interested on the, not only the intention because we present kind of uh, five different songs from the new album, and uh, and uh, they decide to go to the studio to listen a couple of two or three songs and then they decide this is going to be the one because we like it they liked the they like the message they like the 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 vibe of the song and so that, that was it speaking about eurovision did you watch eurovision before do you have any special memories or favorite performances from the past not voting uh, but i was i was uh, i was uh, do i was watching the, the the show through the years uh, um, especially with my eight years old kid he is a he is a big fan of Eurovision, so um, uh, yeah, I was watching the last the last years. I was watching the show with is in, in in some countries it's a kind of a special day, you know. Yes. When you meet with friends and you bring the chips and the beers or the cokes and then, then you're watching the television all night, and and you say ah oh, I like this one I like this one I prefer this one, 
um so yeah the last the last years i was watching every year um is a kind of a you know it's a it's 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 a kind of a different thing for a rock musician because it's not a rock based uh, contest most of the artists are more oriented to the pop and uh, other music styles but it's interesting to watch anyway i think it's um, it's interesting how they uh, recreate the song on the on the stage the lights the choreographies how how the people react to that and you see the countries we give 12 points to that and sometimes you get surprised because oh, i didn't expect that you know uh, um but it's funny it's funny to watch i think it's a nice show so um so yeah yeah i, I can say that i am a kind of a fan of eurovision anyway <laughs> Actually, one of the team members already has some Eurovision experiences. Stoyan already represented Bulgaria twice, both in 2007 and 2013. So did he share his experiences with you and told you what you can expect from Eurovision? Yeah, yeah. Stunji, he was, uh, he was a couple of times already. And one day we asked him, and how is, it, how is it to go there? You know? And I say, you just go there, play the song, have fun, and that's it. <laughs> <laughs> Which is a yeah, I think it's a great advice. <laughs> uh, I, I think uh, at the end, uh, you know, it's a great it's a great chance uh, to be in a great production, to be in a great show with a lot of different people. For example, we were we are doing this kind of uh, pre parties around Europe, and sometimes you meet some of the uh, some of the guys from other countries. They're super nice. We met the guys from Czech Republic and Moldova and others uh and and they're super fun we have fun together you know we talked and uh is a is a good way to to connect you know it's kind of a, the uh, real spirit of the, the european union at the end um and i can say the same thing because you know some most of, most of the time the people ask me oh, but how a chilean born guy who lives in spain and now he lives in romania is representing bulgaria you know <laughs> It's a kind of weird thing, and I say this is the spirit of the European Union. Uh, doesn't matter where you come from, you feel part of the community, and you can do whatever you want. So that's it. Well, looking at your calendar, you guys seem to have a pretty full schedule, right? So you will be touring around Europe for the Intention Promoter, and as you mentioned, you will also perform in Eurovision pre parties, like in London and Amsterdam. So, what are you most looking forward to when you think about all these things to come? I think we are looking forward for everything, uh, you know, it's, it, because it's going to be uh, it's going to be cool uh, uh, to to present. I mean, we did the song already live in Bulgaria and some different uh, cities and the reaction. We didn't expect that kind of reaction. It was great because it was all the people, you know, mostly because of, of, of the restriction of COVID. Uh, you have very limited uh, seats on the venues and sometimes it's not full venue. But so in sometimes the most of the time the people is just seated there, which is pretty weird for a rock show. Uh, uh, but then when we play the song of Eurovision, the people go in front of the stage and they start to jump and, and you know and sing the song and and it's super cool. And we want to have this in the in the other countries as well. So uh, we're gonna play Thessaloniki in Greece, we're gonna play Amsterdam, uh, Brussels, we're gonna play Turin, of course, we're gonna play uh, Paris. And then we have pre-parties in London, Amsterdam, probably Tel Aviv in Israel, uh, and some others. We did one already in Bucharest in Romania, where I live. So, so the vibe of all this Eurovision uh, thing, since it starts in now in March, is a very cool vibe. And I think the people need that, as I told you before, because we are living very hard times in Europe. And, and we, we kind of need this and, 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 and the people, they go to the shows because they want to have fun for at least two hours and, and, and we need to bring this message of hope and, and that everything is going to be okay. Uh, we need musicians, we need to be responsible at the end that we need, we, we can bring this to the people. So we are very looking forward to go to every city, to go to every pre-party, to meet all the content that's for, from, from Eurovision if we can. To have fun, to enjoy, and then you know, to to show to the to Europe that uh, all together we can do we can do well. So, as you already said, you will release a new album this summer together with the Intelligent Music Project. So, could you tell us more about that? What can we expect? <clears throat> well, yeah, it's gonna be uh, it's gonna be released around June, July. 
it's not it's not clear uh, yet because it's a is a self production. It's not with the record label. Um, um, it's gonna be uh, it's gonna be a very more rock uh, album more than the previous ones. Um, as I told you before, I am involved in the songwriting process for the first time in the intelligent music history after six albums. It's the first time that uh, one of the musicians is doing the, the songwriting process besides Dr. Milan Braveski, which is cool. Uh, so I have, I did two songs for the album and um, I think it's gonna be great. And then obviously we're gonna, we're gonna support uh, the release with the tour around Europe around September, October this year. Ronnie, we can't wait to see you perform live. Thank you so much for taking the time. Do you have a final message for all of our readers at ecturkey.com? Yeah, of course. Um, um, first of all, I, um, I wish that every, everybody is health and safe. Um, thank you very much for the support, obviously. Uh, I hope that everybody who watched Eurovision, they liked our performance. Probably we can get some votes. Why not? <laughs> and, uh, And just a message of uh, peace and love to everybody. Um, I think we need all together to to stay uh, peace. You know, it's, it's it's something that we need right now. And to help to help people, uh, we need to help each other. Every little help uh, counts. So that's it. Thank you very much.